This conference will now be rec this conference will now be recorded. Hi all, this is Rajaraj. Uh, welcome to Pega Training. Rajaraj Pega Trainings. So uh, I'm going to discuss about the frequently asked questions. Um, recently, uh, in one of the interview, I have seen the question like, uh, "What is the difference between the theme Cosmos and the traditional UI kit?" All right. So we'll discuss about this. So here, uh, so I'm going to use the Pega 8.6 version. And in this Dev Studio, I'm going to create a new application. So while building from the scratch, you can see on top of which theme I'm going to develop the application. So here comes the three options available in 8.6. If you are going for 8.7, you can see only two options are available. There is the UI kit traditional is no more available in 8.7 version. So whereas if you see in 8.7, you have theme Cosmos and Cosmos React are available. So React is the one which is going to use the React JS libraries, which is uh, the user interface libraries, which are having the more advanced features as well in the Cosmos React. And of course, if you are using the personal edition, we are not supposed to use this. We cannot use the Cosmos React uh, uh, theme while you are using the personal edition. It is only available if you are using the enterprise edition. Whereas the theme Cosmos is the one which we can use it. And it was introduced in 8.3 version. So right from 8.3 version, we have the theme Cosmos available. But in 8.6, this is recommended. All right. And whereas the UI kit is available since earlier uh, Pega 7 version as well. So there are a lot of things which you can see in the UI kit application where the user interfaces, libraries, or the components which are developed in Pega 7 as well as Pega 8, irrespective of whether it is in a mobile application or is it, it is a web application, we have a lot of components available. Whereas if you see the theme Cosmos, it is having the more advanced uh, UI user experience uh, components available in the theme Cosmos. All right, so we are going to see how the differentiation happens if you are using the theme UI kit or the theme Cosmos in this tutorial. Already I have created two applications. So one, let's go with the UI kit first. All right, so once I navigate to the Dev Studio. All right, so primarily you can see uh, if you are using the UI kit, the default application once you create it, you can see there are two portals available. One is Case Manager, the default portal, and Case Worker. All right, so Case Manager is the default portal which is using the UI kit 7. All right. So here you can see on loading the portal, there is a header on there is a left hand side navigation and there's a workspace. On the left side navigation, you can see the options like dashboard, my work, pulse, spaces, documents. All right. So these are the options which whatever the actions that we do on the workspace. So we have the options that we can utilize it from the left side navigation. All right. And uh, if you see uh, there is a dashboard and if I create a new case type from the theme using the theme UI kit. So you can see the case type launches in the uh, on the space where, the, where we have a workspace. All right. And here comes the label and the description. So you can see the actions are performed on the screen on the screen on the workspace area and moving forward by providing the mandatory inputs and you can see the case is uh, assigned has been routed appropriately so this is the next step whereas the review screen that you see on for the case type on the theme ui kit so you can see the stage display and the information and the audit case information this is the default screen and the pulse gadget is available at the bottom and certain case details are available on the right side. All right. 
so you can see actions and edit on the top right side and you have certain options available here all right and now coming to the dev studio so you can see the application layer so bpm test application which is created on ui kit so there are multiple versions available so you can see there are a lot of versions are already available and if you open this application ui kit is built on top of pega rules 8 version all right so this is the ui kit 7 is the rule set where you can see the libraries of a ui kit ui components are available in this particular rule set all right so those components that are built on ui kit 7 rule set so those can be utilized for this application which i'm building on top of ui kit all right now switching back to the theme cosmos ui so more extensively the front end ui libraries are being used for this theme cosmos and if i switch to dev studio first so on click of launch portal you can see there is an option called user portal whereas if you see the theme ui kit it is having the case manager as well as the user portal all right case worker whereas for the theme cosmos it is user portal all right so here coming to the user portal you can see the more extensive user interface is available there is no header all right only the left night nav left side navigation and the workspace available here so the left side navigation is a compressible one where you can see the create option home dashboard and certain actions whatever you do it primarily available on the left side navigation and on hover we are displaying this in an expandable way and whenever you are working on the workspace it automatically compresses all right and there are certain actions which you see the notifications recents my applications are also available provided on the bottom left hand side all right so now if i create a new case type in theme cosmos you can see the action is the primary action the initialization stage is available on a pop-up window so we can see the case which i am launching is created is launched in a pop-up model dialog and on click of create so you can see the review harness screen so this a2 it doesn't have any primary stages so it is not displaying any stage over here so the case details are displayed on the left side where the actions are also displayed on the left hand side itself okay so this is a default user portal provided from pega if in case we are using we can customize it at our uh, uh, on our way so if you want to have these actions displayed on the top right side you can still do that so but you need to have you need to customize the existing ui which is already there in the theme cosmos so what you have to do is so you just need to copy into our own rule sets copied from theme cosmos so you can see the theme cosmos is the application used while we are creating a new application this is the built-on layer all right and if you open this application you can see the rule set which is consumed by this application is theme iphon cosmos so all the libraries all the user interface all the user experience uh, driven libraries and the rules the components developed uh, are there in these rule sets all right so with the help of this application itself we are going to get the components that you are going to utilize while we are configuring the view okay so that means whenever you are designing the case or this defining a section or a user interface in such scenarios you have a predefined templates so that you can reduce the work of a developer so this is an example for the low code app development okay so you have an option to develop you have the option to select certain templates that reduces a lot of development work by using the theme cosmos so this is that is the reason this is recommended while 
we are developing the applications in 8.6 version okay so while we are using the app studio there are a lot of options that are a lot of templates that are coming from the cosmos so you can see the personas as well as the channels driven so these are these are some these are the things which are these are the components which are coming as part of the cosmos api for theme cosmos so most of the apis that are being used uh, inside the theme cosmos rule sets all right so that's enough uh, for the while answering the questions and the interviews thank you